first one maybe where they were all in the same room together. It's called Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs. Brand new as of last week. And they're coming to play for you at the Agora. The show is Friday, March the 8th. Go to agoracleveland.com for all the details on the show. Uh, but this pair of tickets here for you. Two for Alkaline Trio. Don't know who's with them, but it should be good. Call or 10 216 578 or 800 348 I met Alan. Did you? I gave him marijuana. Oh, great. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Another $1,000 for you in about 10 minutes. So listen for that next keyword to grab a grand from the buzzard bookie. And then we'll get you some hot celebrity goss, uh, courtesy of Perez Bilton. It has been a minute since Mary has been able to witness hot celebrity goss in the room in person. Yes. It's usually valued at $350 a goss. You're getting it for free today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Per what, goss. What a good guy. <laughs> That's each hunk of goss is yeah. $350. Wow. It's a glob of goss. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much what they're going to, uh, the, per head for that 10-course uh, tasting menu. Mm -hmm. on, 10 course uh, plant dinner. <laughs> plant dinner. Yeah. Anybody see the Kanye video? No. He's walking down the, TMZ finds him, of course, and Kanye's walking down the street like a dummy. He's got like a bag over his head or whatever he walks around now with he's walking around with a with a pantyhose on his head you can't see what's going on this guy fully covered up all the time his wife not nothing but skin on this girl wonder what the difference is so one of these uh tmz people hey buddy hi can this girl hi you know, they got to pretend like they're pals and sneak up on him. And, you know, with Kanye, you know where you're going to get it. So he grabs her cell phone. And so most of the video is you just hear him yelling. But um, he gets mad because the girl was like, hey, people are saying that your wife doesn't have free will, which obviously is made up anyway. But people are saying your wife doesn't have free will. And what do you say to that? And but Kanye, Kanye going to Kanye. Yeah, free okay. will's an illusion. Yeah. Um, Kanye gonna Kanye, though. Because of fate? I'm sorry? Yes. Because of fate. <laughs> Kanye, people want to know if Bianca has her free will. Some people are saying you're controlling her. Would you think yeah. that you a white woman who could walk up on me like that and ask me some dumb <laughs> like that? Ask me if you have my wife talking about this shit got free will? Are you crazy? You ain't saying this is America. You got free like, will? You running for TMZ company? I'm a legend. You understand that? I'm here to support Charlie Wilson. You come and ask me some dumb about my wife. That's about wife. You understand what I'm saying? No, tell me. Was it wrong for you to ask me? Was that wrong or right? I'm sorry, Connie. I just need my phone. No, no. Answer the question. I'm supposed to answer your questions? Answer my question. I got your phone now. They gonna arrest me for taking your phone? Arrest me for taking your phone now. I don't... You answer the question. You ask me, did my wife have free will? Was that a dumb... Just he's talking to her with a bag on his head. Like, it's a, I don't know what it is, but he's walking, he calls himself a superhero in this clip, and that's what he's walking around looking like. Looking like Rorschach. <laughs> Watch, man. Respectful question to come ask a grown superhero. What is your first and last name and address, bitch? What, what are we doing? I just need my phone. I need your first and last address and your address, bitch. <sighs> My name is Melanie Bitch. He didn't I'm at one, even two, answer three, the Bitch question, Road. though. No, he didn't. Your phone now. I don't... You answer the question. You ask me, did my wife have free will? Was that a dumb, disrespectful question to come ask a grown superhero? What is your first and last name and address, bitch? What, what are we doing? I just need my phone. I'll pay you double. I like how this audio bleeps ass, but not bitch. You're right. What they pay you. Ooh. Also, I like that uh, he's I, calling himself... He's like, that's a stupid thing to ask a grown ass superhero. <laughs> superhero. What a stupid thing to say to a man walking around with a bag yeah, on his head. Sad. What is your first and last name and address, bitch? What, what are we doing? I just need my phone. I'll pay you double what they pay you. Ooh. Uh, now you smile. 
Get in contact. Yes, I will. I will. Thank you, Kanye. Thank you, Kanye. Uh, I hate my life. I work for TMZ. I hate my life. God, I mean, I don't know what TMZ pays, but it's just... It can't be enough. You got to watch... I bet she got good money for that clip. Is that her clip or is that somebody else's clip? That's the TMZ clip. Yeah. Whoever got that clip probably got a good... Well, so he snatches the phone and somebody who was nearby, like the audio, I think, mm-hmm. was another person recording. Uh-huh. So she'd have to go to that guy. And be like, hey. but, but her phone had to be recording. She's wa- stepping up yeah. to Kanye, like walking up behind him, you know, sidling up next to him. That's why you got to have a thing of Tic Tacs in your pocket so people can hear you sidling up. Mm-hmm. But... And he does wear a lot of shoes that look like wrestling shoes. <laughs> He's <laughs> quiet. Oh, Kanye. If your wife has free will, a lot of people think she's under control. Uh, do they really? A lot of geniuses out there talking about how my wife is under mind control. What mind? That is a wild scene, though. I mean, this guy definitely has a type. His current wife uh, looks exactly like his former wife. She has sloppers, though. Like, he, he has her out here walking with, like, no bra. No, I, I get it. Know. But, like, the face, she looks a lot like Kim Kardashian. I mean, so he knows what he likes. Mm-hmm. I think he just knows how to get to people because I think Kim Kardashian, one of her biggest pet peeves is when people try and emulate her. Like, they can be inspired by her. That's every... They, she, would, they, she would kill her she would. I was going to say, she, she would also <laughs> drive herself bananas if she obsessed over every girl trying to look like her because they all want to look like her. And she sells products to get people to try and look like her. That's how she's made her fortune. That, well, that's what he says, and I... I take him at his word that he knows his wife wouldn't get under He seems like skin. a real good guy to take it at his word. I mean, it's... When it comes to being petty, I trust Kanye. <laughs> so... Well, trust him about what? He knows how to get under his wife's skin. He's, under Kim's. Yeah, because she's... I don't think she likes women... Men who date women that look like her. Ever Like, every guy that she's dated or married... I went, honestly went don't think to, like, she... another girl that looks like her. I think she's happy to just not have to deal with him. Same. I she mean, I think... She with him. That's her baby's dad. Well, right. But, right. like, she doesn't have to deal with him in a relationship status, like, wise. Like, that is probably very I, tiresome. She only has to deal with him yeah. when it comes to the kids. Mm, well, he's... I think they're matched He's money-wise. very immature. Mm. That Bianca Sensori, though. See, I don't... What does she do? Because it keeps referring to her as an architect. And I'm like, that cannot be true. Like, why would you not be doing that? And instead, Kanye's walking... I don't know, man. She's getting tense pitched all over town. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, She's into that brutalism. She's walking around town with Kanye. He's got a leash around her neck. She's like, I was a goddamn architect. What am I doing over here? He's probably paying her way more than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. She's a walking, talking IM pay. And uh, wants nothing to do with her. Hmm. All right, let me give you this money, and then we're going to get to, as I understand it, hot goss worth thousands of dollars. Millions. If you can take him at his word. This is $1,000. Would this be three pieces of goss? Yeah. Oh, Okay. Uh, or however you want to break it about, down. About three. About, about three. three. Yeah, like okay. Little, three. three, three and a, and a little change. The conversion's weird, but it's a grand for you from the Buzzard Bookie. That's so always move. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Money. That's money. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Oh, welcome to the International Goss Exchange, where I got some hot, creamy, steamy, <laughs> curdly goss. <laughs> All the adjectives. Yeah. And uh, let's get things going here. Travis Scott looked real good on Sunday at his show on Sunday. He stopped the show because there was a janitor mopping up sweat. And he said, janitor, I don't want you mopping up sweat. I want you to take the night off. And so that you can afford to, here's $5,000. Yeah, he just handed over $5,000 to that janitor. Everybody lost their minds. Great moment. The janitor said he almost fainted 
when that happened. And according to inside sources, ah, damn it. Hold on. Inside <laughs> sources. Sorry, sorry. Yep. Travis Scott said, I'm glad he didn't faint because that cost me a lot more than five thousand dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, for shiz, for shiz. All right, Flo Florence Pugh, who uh, was in the movie Oppenheimer, was talking about a moment on the set that was a little awkward because some of the gear broke down during one of the sex scenes while she was naked, and she said it was a little weird. But she also got to learn about the equipment on set and everyone was very professional about it so it wasn't too bad according to inside sources inside sources killian murphy said it wasn't bad for him either because he was in character and if you know anything about robert j oppenheimer he was really into gooning <laughs> oh yeah for shiz, for shiz. and finally david letterman has some strong words for all the people out there hating on Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Uh, so now here's Taylor Swift, who is a glowing bright light of goodness in the world, and she starts dating uh, Kelsey Grammer. And people... No, that's go not true. What? Kelsey Grammer? Yes. And the, the Kelsey Grammer people say, oh, no, no, no. Don't bother us. And the Taylor Swift people, the Swifties, are saying, oh, we don't want a footballer in here with Kelsey Grammer. And I'm saying, Kelsey. huh? Travis Kelsey. Right. Travis Kelsey. And I say to both camps, this is such a lovely thing. Shut up. It's good for the footballers. Yeah. It's good for Taylor Swift. And it's something positive and happy for the world. Taylor Swift is a huge force and I think just wants to see people do the right thing. So God bless Taylor Swift and Kelsey Grammer. That's Not all I Kelsey had to say. Kelsey Grammer. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I feel for the women around him as he was continuing to call Kelsey, uh, Travis Kelsey, Kelsey Grammer. He's got me doing it almost because over a few years ago in 2020, it was the Chiefs and the 49ers, and the 49ers quarterback at that time was Jimmy Garoppolo, who is constantly called the wrong name by Alan. Alan, who do you think Jimmy Garoppolo is? Uh, Janine Garoppolo, the comedian and quarterback, is who I understand. <laughs> That's not who oh. it is. Uh, but he's just being silly. It's a whole cute mix-up. And according to Inside Sources... Inside Sources... Kelsey Grammer had this to say. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit, oh, shit. This is Hot Celebrity Gossip with Perez Bilton. Ooh. Mary, do you know what gooning is? No. I don't. I don't either. You don't? No. Gooning is a form of edging. Oh. Why does it need another word? I don't know. It's just like the new slang for it. Well, I thought edging was one thing. What is a form of edging? Uh, there's there's edging. I don't know. I don't know how. I just know gooning is No wonder edging. people are confused. There's yeah. multiple words for the same thing. Mm -hmm. I guess that is the English language. Yeah, thing. I mean... You you should know more than anybody else on this show. That there's <laughs> yeah. multiple words for the yeah, same thing. Yeah, yet I've never, uh, I'm unfamiliar with gooning. No. All if right. If you edged, you gooned. Yeah, I'm not a big edger. I've, no. I like to get in there and have fun and do my thing mm -hmm. and uh, get on with my day. What am I, Dude. sting? I'm trying to put on a show for somebody? I'm trying to impress somebody? I was reading an article uh, this morning. Uh, pound cake would be of particular interest to him. It was Crane's Cleveland Business. Had a big article on why Taylor Swift doesn't come to Cleveland. And it was basically because, um, let me bring it up here. Because we've talked about this. We're like, Billy Joel and Rod Stewart are coming to Cleveland Brown Stadium. Why doesn't Taylor Swift come? And the, the people over there at the Haslam Sports Group who manage Brown Stadium, they're like, yeah, we get asked about that a lot. And obviously we'd love to have her, but there's a lot of things that go into it. There was no need for Taylor Swift to play Cleveland because she was already playing Detroit, Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati. He said um, she added some North American dates, but they were domed venues. She did Indianapolis and Toronto. 
She was not going to do an outdoor stadium on Lake Erie. So that fall time frame last year, that's why when we, we sent people to Pittsburgh, or we did the big contest mm -hmm. outside our window, outside our old studio there, where we had the dads dress up and... Hundreds of contestants. Yeah, do Taylor Swift uh, songs. But the prize, we ended up sending two dads and daughters. We ended up with two pair of tickets. And they're like, w can't Travis Kelsey put in a good word? So, they're like, yeah, that's not how things work. So but, in uh, other words, Taylor Swift wants to make you hoes work for it. <laughs> if you want to see me, you got to drive at least two hours. Well, that's true of a lot of bands. I mean, people would drive. We had people come in here to see Taylor Swift from frigging Idaho. I mean, we heard from a handful of people that were like, yeah, we drove all the way from God knows where. What losers? No, it's also a scheduling thing. Like, I was out of town for a college gig the day John Mayer played at Romo Fijo, so I had to go to Detroit to see him. Like, if you like someone that much, you'll travel to go from see him. From Idaho. Yeah, but it might have been the only day that they could be yeah. here. Like, I'm, that's I'm, the only date. I'm constantly looking at bands I really want to see, and I'm looking at their weekend dates because I can't go on a school night. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm like, Okay, where are they going to be Saturday, Sunday? That I can get to. Yeah, if it's yeah. like Denver, I'm not going to Denver on a Saturday. But if it's Chicago or Absolutely. You Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. yep. like that, yeah. Pittsburgh's nothing from Cleveland. It's a couple hours. I mean, we're equidistant from Detroit and Pittsburgh. So you're you're in luck. If or there's Cincinnati, a, too. Not that they wouldn't come to Cleveland but would go to Cincinnati. But but isn't that like four hours to Cincinnati? Yeah, that's a little further. It's, it's a like, little further. It's like two and a half to it's, Pittsburgh it's, yeah. Detroit. It's doable, though. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've, I've driven at, down to Cincinnati and back in the day. They like, perform at a, Buckeye Stadium. Like, they, they do it in Columbus. So but it also is a reason they should get a dome. We do, yeah. We need a dome. That'd be great. <laughs> Buffalo needs a dome. They said that, um, obviously, bands that... Uh, you know, why do they choose Cleveland Brown Stadium? They want to sell a lot of tickets, obviously. The Stones haven't been here in 22 years. And they're only playing 16 cities. They're playing Cleveland, Chicago, Philadelphia, and some other cities. So they're like, it really worked out in our favor with the Stones. So I will question, I have a question for you, Alan. Since you didn't want Whitney Houston in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, if you don't think that she fits. It's no question that when Taylor Swift is eligible to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's probably going to get inducted. Do you think that she deserves to go into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Has she had rock songs? I I don't think so. I mean, she's, she's had, had pop songs, she's had yeah. country songs. I don't know about any rock songs, but do you think that she would be eligible or do you first I know she's going to get in, but like do you in your personal opinion, No, I f I feel the same way about her as I would feel about Whitney Houston getting in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. I mean, I don't think Dolly Parton should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She, and didn't, she didn't think she should either. didn't even smoke any crack. She, <laughs> At least, oh, uh, well, he, when Houston did that, that's the most rock and roll thing she did. Oh, Whitney. No, I don't think that she, uh, either one of them should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. Alan, every time you guys talk about Whitney Houston, tell Poundcake that the reason everybody thinks about her being a crackhead is because Bobby Brown put her on television for everybody to witness. Bobby Brown. Didn't and she was sickly looking and too skinny. And he couldn't get himself on television. What, what, no, being you... Bobby Brown. That's when people started to see her and go, oh, my God, what's going on with her? And then that overshadowed everything that she had done before. So she was a public mess because of that show. And then when she died the way she did... I think this person's point is that's what has kind of burned that in people's brains when they talk about, um, that's when a lot of people started to see that side of her publicly, was being Bobby Brown. I thought the show was quite entertaining. I didn't watch it, but I just remember at the time, that's when people started to go, holy hell, what's going on with Whitney Houston? All the episodes are free on YouTube. So, I've watched it. Comfort watch. Mm. It is. I've comfort watched. It's only one season, unfortunately. And 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 where can I find YouTube? Do I have to download it? Is mm -hmm. is it on my TV? Is it on my computer? All yeah. you have to do is type with your can I little finger, and you can give find you a little it. finger. It's on all the things. It's is it on all the things? Mm -hmm. I can pick up the YouTube from anywhere. Yeah, nope. go to your local library. And check mm -hmm. out YouTube. <laughs> yep. Can and I YouTube get it on, on laserdisc? Can yeah. I get it on a payphone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yell down the center.
Huh? Dial down to Sunny. 10, 10, 3, 2, 1. Y-O-U-T-V. 1 800 YouTube. <laughs> what happened to Vivo? Huh? What happened to Vivo? It's still around. It probably got absorbed by another company. It's owned by uh, Sony. Is it? I believe. I was going to say, everyone made such a big deal. Oh, YouTube got bought out by Vivo. I'm like, no, it didn't. Well, no, you Google owns YouTube. YouTube's not going to get bought out by anybody because Google bought it. Oh, a long time then ago. you can't get it at the library. The I can't, library, I can't, you check, can't out, check out Google at the library. Oh, I can't check out Google. No. Can I check?